people welcome back to my youtube channel youtube channel Elliot wave principal i'm your host shane in today's video we are going to come back to our uh, bitcoin and we are going to discuss it last time we were we discussed bitcoin was right right over here uh, we need, we discussed that the this was considering we were considering this whole as a correction pattern and i still believe that this is still part of correction pattern those of you guys who are uh, aware of Elliott wave analysis uh, is a very familiar pattern and then we are going to discuss it before we move on to our uh, Elliott wave analysis of Bitcoin I have got couple of uh, actually one very important thing if some of you guys missed I have moved my uh, content on gold silver British pound euro and Canadian dollar to patreon now it's a paid content and it's available for a small a price of 29 dollars per month uh, you can come join me you can go back to my youtube videos and you can see how accurate our analysis was in last um, couple of months last three four months especially with the gold and silver and then you can definitely look on dollar index basket currencies that we ha have been discussing as well so you by looking at those videos you will definitely recognize that there is uh, good value in the content so uh, I would definitely like to have a small piece of what you make and that is $29 per month which is not a lot of fees uh, I purposely put the fees very very low as compared to what I was thinking uh, considering that I want most of the people from around the globe to join me in on the page once again you can join me on patreon.com forward slash Elliot wave green today I'm going to present my free analysis on YouTube and this is to uh, make people who are uh, actually subscribers and visitors of the page uh, have some um, approach to the content as well so here we have uh, Bitcoin in front of us uh, in short I'm considering that we have not started the bull market in the in, in Bitcoin again a lot of people think so but I believe that we are still in the bear market and we only have seen the initial drop and the correction uh, I believe the smart money has already left the market in Bitcoin and uh, I'm looking this price movement as a corrective uh, corrective pattern I'm considering this whole price movement as a zigzag wave A wave B and wave C and I'm considering this whole price movement as a flat correction elongated flank flat correction let's zoom in and if, see if I can uh, show you guys much better chart okay this is much better now okay so I'm cons I was considering here right as wave A and this whole as wave B and or wave B ends right over here and this is wave 1 and wave 2 this is wave 3 and wave 4 and then we have a subdivided wave 5 there's a huge possibility that I'm thinking that uh, the upward price movement is complete re uh, and you can tell that from this sharp decline and we can also tell that from the support line broken that was holding the uh, last the fifth wave the extended fifth wave in the ABC structure so I believe that we have broken that trend line now we can actually see that and we are heading downwards as far as the uh, Fibonacci analysis is concerned itself we can see that we have dropped the Fibonacci analysis from top to bottom and we can see that we have found the support for the correction around 61.8% uh, which is a good Fibonacci value uh, but it's more close to 62.5 which is uh, one of the percentages that I use from GAN analysis so it's more close to around 62.5% and it's a very good price setting if you look at the previous uh, uh, support structure within the structure as well is finding support in the previous structure as well so this is also very good news we have not created a new top if you're looking at the the whole bottom right over here we have one uh, top right over here and one top right over here and the other one is right over here uh, so we are considering this whole price movement as a corrective structure so you will not will we will ignore the uh, tops made in this one if however price is able to manage bef above uh, 59,000 that means uh, that we are looking at the pattern in a wrong way we'll have to uh, reanalyze the market as well for now I believe that we have completed W which is right over here this W completes right over here and we can actually bring it let me see if we can bring it over here so I believe we have completed one zigzag I believe we have completed the pattern right now and I believe we are heading to the downward price movement now let's have a look at uh, the target for potential bearish market and uh, the potential target for bearish uh, uh, price movement as you guys can tell from the channel is around ten thousand dollars that's what my target is around ten thousand uh, dollars 
uh, this target has, I have put in it right over here. So I'm expecting that Bitcoin in next uh, two, three months, four months are going to be around ten thousand dollars. I know it's a lot. It does not look very likely right now, but markets are market. Those of you guys who have been around for a while, they know that there's nothing certain can be said about markets. So potential target ten thousand. What next? We have to zoom in on the hourly time frame to see either we are actually ready uh, to call, go down. Let's see, have a go look on the hourly time frame. And then you'll zoom in only to see uh, what will be the good place to enter the trade, okay? So I've drawn, we can see the sharp price circuit, somewhere the, the drop of about from 53,000 to 43,000, about $10,000. This is a lot of uh, strong drop. And I believe that uh, it is the beginning of the next move down. Uh, we can consider this little price movement once again as a flat correction. And uh, the moment at time we can confirm the flat correction is complete right now is a very important price area, this area. If prices can fall below 46,500 uh, and they can stay below that in this region, then we will consider that the top has already been completed right over here. If you want to be even more careful, you might want to actually wait for the price of uh, Bitcoin to drop below $43,000, $42,000, $900. And that will give an indication that the price is going further down. Right now, this thing is, uh, if prices were actually holding in this area for longer period of time, if prices can hold uh, in this period for longer of period of time, that would mean that we're looking for another price move up. So, meanwhile, you have to keep an eye on a smaller time frame. The larger time frame analysis is clearly giving us an indication that we are looking towards the bearish count. And the moment uh, we can say that our analysis was wrong is that if prices can actually push back from previous top, which is right over here. Let me bring that closer. If prices go, can go beyond that top, this top right over here, which is 59,500, that will be indication that something significant is wrong with our analysis, and we'll have to come back and look at it again. Once again, wish you good luck with your trading. Have a good one, and bye-bye.